Okay, so when I was rehabbing at JFK, I remember the first three weeks, um, by the time I got out of there, I was able to climb stairs uh, fairly well. I mean, I walked totally with uh, um, a four, four-footed cane, and I learned how to you do steps holding onto a railing quite well. Now, um, going up steps, you would go with the good leg first, bring up the, the weak one. And if you were going to go down, you need to always go with the, the bad one first, because this, this, this good one is going to hold your weight and, and let you go. Now, um, since getting out of rehab, this is one of the things that I have actually worked on quite a lot. And, um, you know, I'm to the point where I think I can handle steps fairly well. Um, not only am I not taking all the steps like one by one this way, um, I can now take them, you know, foot over foot, more like a normal person takes steps. Safety is not a safety is not a huge issue. But yeah, I'd be afraid to fall down eight steps, but I'm not necessarily afraid to fall right here because I have a lot of things to hold on to. I would actually try doing all of those steps with no railing, just to try and improve the balance, improve the muscle core control, and so on. And uh, come down to the driveway. And we'll do some more walking. One, two, three, four. Sorry, Dad. Clogging your driveway. Still filming? Okay, so. Walking is definitely much better. Um, you know, in the beginning, I had this big, clumsy walker thing to help me, and it was real wild. Um, I kind of graduated to a four-legged cane and a therapist holding on to me. Um, got to the point where I could walk pretty well on my own with a four-legged cane. Um, and really, again, within the last week or two, uh, I guess, yeah, two weeks, three weeks, I've basically gotten rid of the four-legged cane entirely and walk all by myself. Um, the other thing is early on I had a brace on this leg um, that would go down and, and hold the toes, basically hold the toes up a little bit so that when you, when you take a step you don't drag them. Um, I do have a little bit of control in my ankle now so that when I take a step you know my toes don't really dig in like like you would uh, like they you know, want to trip me. So because of that, I've been able to get rid of that plastic brace, what they call an AFO. Um, that's a big deal because if you wear something like the AFO for too long, don't forget, your brain is kind of working on new pathways and what. So if you, if you restrict it or inhibit it, your brain's going to learn that. So it's going to be a, what they call a learned disability. Um, or a learned disuse. So by getting rid of that, it forces my leg and my ankle, my brain, to try and learn things as close to right as possible. So as you see, this is how I walk today. Um, a little slow, a little gimpy, but without aid, without assistance, without any kind of uh, device. And um, you know, not just on blacktop, I can walk across grass, I can walk up and down hills, um, definitely a big, big boss. Um, just over the last couple of days I've been trying to be a little more deliberate in taking some steps this way, because what that does is that's, that in, increases the amount of time that I have to wait on the bad leg. So the bad leg is more used to holding the weight, feeling what it's like to have the weight transfer to it, because that's the biggest problem. The problem isn't the strength of the muscles, 
um, or even so much the control of the muscles, it's the fact that the brain does not get feedback. It doesn't really feel or sense how much weight is on that leg or that arm, right? Um, so that's why I keep trying to stress and exercise those, those types of functions. It's, it's, is to get the brain to understand what it feels like when that leg is carrying all the weight. Um, I think that's it. That's it. So June 5th, that's where I am. That's uh, like Sylvia likes to tell me, it's a tremendous amount of progress from being paralyzed six weeks ago. Uh, from my perspective, it's still miles and miles away from where I want to be, where I need to be. Um, I certainly won't be happy until my right side is, you know, is doing what my left side is doing. But eh, maybe we're getting close. Maybe we're not. Um, so I'll check back in in a couple weeks, maybe a month, and hopefully show some progress that uh, we can all see. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.